Hello everyone, this is iCam, we're not here today, I bring you some Grand Theft Auto 4 footage from uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony actually, my personal favorite expansion pack from Grand Theft Auto 4, obviously being playing on the PlayStation 3 deck, because that's where I mainly play guys. Now, I want to discuss missions. So Grand Theft Auto 5, we don't really know anything much about it besides what the character names are, some what the maps look like, we got some vehicles here and there, but now we have to do the missions, because the missions are what make San Andreas, I think the most like recognized and most popular and best story ever put in a video game period in my opinion and I'm sure a lot of other people share this opinion is the missions and the story mode was fantastic now this is where Grand Theft Auto 4 suffered now the physics were awesome the gameplay was fantastic the shooting system was better than it ever has been before the gun variety is crazy everything was crazy but we didn't really connect with the characters you know Nico wasn't really a fan favorite of mine and he wasn't a fan favorite of everybody because we like CJ I don't know why I think maybe it could be the gang aspect something that we have we, none of us can really relate to in our daily lives is what CJ did but also I believe it had to do with the huge amount of variety of missions you know one of my favorite missions with um, San Andreas, I believe you're with uh, Big Smoke, I could be wrong on that, but you're pretty much chasing down a cart on this train and you're like trying to drive the dirt bike on top of the train, you keep missing because the damn buildings are getting away, possibly one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto missions. And I believe that's the reason why Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't such a huge uh, place in my mind, you know, it just didn't keep a lasting memory, you know, the gameplay was obviously fun, but... I didn't enjoy the missions that much, and that's why I pretty much enjoyed the Ballad of Gay Tony. It's pretty much like San Andreas. You know, you got the crazy missions, the crazy explosions, lots of fun, lots of crazy stuff that you wouldn't do, and maybe possibly see in movies. Like, that's the kind of crazy stuff we got from San Andreas. Now, Grand Theft Auto V, what are they going to do? Now, we've obviously seen some, like, skits with the Robin Banks and stuff. That's obviously cool. Chasing down planes with a dirt bike. It looks like it's going to take more of a San Andreas approach where... You're a man on a mission and there's nothing that you can do to stop me. So hopefully that is the direction they're going and they make it for fun and funny in the same aspect because there's nothing more funnier when you're playing San Andreas, you got your whole gang, with you got Ryder, CJ and you CJ's brother, Big Smoke, all those guys are just like swearing and cussing at each other while they're trying to shoot the police and the bad guys and make the cops in this game hopefully interesting. Remember, what the hell was uh, Samuel Jackson's name? God, I forgot his name. T Penny or something? I'm not exactly sure. But the character development in San Andreas and over the top explosions and crazy storyline made it for one of the best experiences ever put into a video game, guys. So, this comes to the end of the video where I'm going to give away stuff, guys. If you'd like to enter in a PlayStation Network card or an Xbox 360 Live card, you got to do three things for me. First, you got to be a subscriber. So, if you're not, click that subscribe button, guys. Second, you got to leave a comment down below. Tell me which is your favorite mission from any single Grand Theft Auto game. Don't forget to leave that in the comment section below. And the third of all, don't forget to like the like button, guys. So, hopefully, you enjoyed everything. This is iCamera9 signing out. Peace, everyone.